You might think that this is ChatGPT, OpenAI's popular AI chatbot, but what you're actually seeing is Lava, an open source large language model running locally on my personal machine. And yet, I'm accessing it from my phone. Today, I'll show you how to run your own large language models privately and for free on your local machine and accessing them from anywhere in the world. The best thing? The whole process is completely free. Here's what you'll need. First off, there's Olama, a framework that lets you run large language models locally on your machine. Additionally, you'll need Docker, a software that enables applications to run within containers, allowing them to function regardless of your operating system. We will also need Open Web UI, an amazing open source tool making it simpler to interact with large language models. Finally, you will need to install ngrok, that gives your local web applications a public URL. By the way, it's worth noting that all the tools we'll be using in this process are either open source or completely free. Olama is the framework that allows you to run large language models on your machine. It's super easy to get set up. Just click the download button and you're good to go. To verify that Olama has been successfully installed on your Mac, look for the Llama icon in the menu bar. This indicates that Olama is ready for use. One of the great things about Olama is its extensive library of models that can be easily downloaded from their website and used locally. For instance, Meta's Llama 3 model can be quickly deployed using the command Olama run Llama 3 in your terminal, allowing you to start interacting with it straight away. If you're new to Olama or need guidance on downloading and working with models, don't worry. I've actually created a dedicated video explaining everything step by step, which can be found in the video description below. Next, we must install Docker. To do so, visit the Docker website and download the application for your operating system. The download process for Docker is super easy. Just what you'd expect when downloading software online. Once you've downloaded Docker, locate the Docker app on your Mac and complete the setup process. Accept the user agreement, use the recommended settings to get started, and click Finish. You'll then see a screen that welcomes you to Docker. You can skip the welcome survey at this point and you're done. Docker is successfully installed on your Mac. You can verify this by noticing the new Docker icon on your menu bar, which indicates that Docker is running. Normally, you would use a command line interface, or CLI like the terminal app on Mac, to talk to models in Olama, as we've done earlier. But not everyone is comfortable working in this format. That's where Open Web UI comes in. It lets you run Olama and access all those large language models through a friendly web interface, so you don't have to deal with CLI commands. We'll be setting up Open Web UI within a Docker container, which offers several benefits. For one, it eliminates the need to worry about installation dependencies as everything is self-contained and taken care of by the Docker environment. To do this, head over to the Open Web UI repository on GitHub. I'll leave the link in the description. Scroll down to the installation section and copy the command you see there and paste it into the terminal. This will trigger the installation of Open Web UI in Docker. To confirm the installation was successful, navigate to localhost 3000 in your web browser. You will be prompted to sign up for an account. Please note that any credentials entered during this process will remain local to your machine and not be shared with OpenWebUI. 
For more guidance on the installation process, I have created a video tutorial that provides a comprehensive overview. You'll find it linked in the description. But today I would like to focus on how we can leverage Open Web UI from our mobile devices. So let's move on to the next step, which is installing NGROC. Let's start by signing up for NGROC on their official website ngroc.com. Click the Sign Up button to create a free account. Once you've signed up, you'll be taken to a page that provides installation instructions for your operating system. Since I'm using a Mac, I'll follow the steps for macOS. This is a brew command which requires Homebrew to be installed on your Mac. If you don't have Homebrew, you can click this button here to download it directly. Since I already have Homebrew installed, I'll use that to initiate the download process. So copy the brew command, then open a terminal window and paste the command into it. After installing ngrok, you'll need to authenticate your local machine using the authentication code provided on this page. This code should remain confidential, so I'll change mine after completing this demo. Paste the command you've copied from the ngrok page into the same terminal window as before. And that's it! We've successfully installed and set up ngrok on our machine. As I'm running OpenWeb UI locally on my machine, you can see that it's accessible at localhost 3000. However, I'd like to access it from my phone, so let's use ngrok to create a public URL. Let's head back to the ngrok installation page, copy this command which exposes our local URL to a public one and paste it into the terminal. However, instead of port 8000, I will change it to 3000, because that is the port that OpenWebUI is running on. What ngrok does is map this local URL to a publicly accessible one, making it possible for me to access OpenWebUI remotely. This URL here is the forwarding URL that ngrok has generated for me. Once I've copied the forwarding URL, let's confirm that it works. So I'll open up a new browser window and enter the forwarding URL. As you can see, it takes me straight to OpenWeb UI. It seems to work as expected. So now I can share this URL with my phone and open it in a browser. Now that we've logged in with our user credentials, let's give it a try. I'll upload a photo I've taken during a recent lake visit and use a model called a lava to analyze and describe the image. Lava is a multimodal model that I've downloaded from Olama. Multimodal means that it can process other form of data than text, in this case images. As you can see, the model provides an accurate and detailed explanation of the uploaded photo. And what's impressive is that this entire process runs remotely from my local machine, accessible from anywhere in the world, without requiring any installation on my phone. All I need to keep this going is to keep Olama, OpenWeb UI and ngrok running on my machine. When you're ready to end the ngrok session, simply go back to your terminal and press Ctrl-C to stop the URL forwarding. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you'll join me soon in my next video.